I know I should let it go, but I can't. Seriously, how does Frank Churchill know about Pit and Box? And who else knows? This could ruin the entire operation. Jane is right. Plenty of people outside of this office are in on the secret, but considering how many NDAs we had to sign, I can't help but worry that this is our fault. Someone had to have told Frank. Someone on the inside. Loose lips sink ships. Or in this case, pollute parties. I am Emma Woodhouse, and I'm going to root out this conspiracy. If there is one. Maybe Harriet accidentally spilled the celeb beans. No, she's as careful as the day is long. Alex? <laughs> he couldn't tell a celebrity from a celery stick. Jane? She's as solid as the Rock of Gibraltar, so I doubt it. <gasps> Unless she accidentally spilled it to Maddie when they were discussing jams. And if Maddie knows, ugh. Oh God, what if it was me? I mean, I have been a bit preoccupied. But I've been too busy to blather, haven't I? Haven't you what? Uh, don't ask. Just come, sit, help me with a little problem solving. Okay, what's the problem? I don't know what to do about this Frank situation. I really didn't see it coming. Well, that's understandable. For the record, neither did I. Everyone from here to the hills probably knows by now. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. What? Don't be. They did a really good job of hiding it from all of us. I still can't believe that Jane, Jane and Frank, Frank about the box dating. owner? Wait, what? Wait, Jane and Frank are dating? Why in the world would you say that? You can't tell me you haven't noticed. I can't notice something that's not there. Uh, the way that they look at each other, how everything that they talk about seems to be about something else, something that we don't know. You are so off. Emma, I'm pretty sure something's going on there. Okay, well, I can't speak for Jane, but I promise you, Frank is not into her. Okay. Then what the heck were you talking about? The secret owner. It only makes sense that Jane told Maddie, and Maddie let it slip to Frank while they were discussing business. No, Maddie would never do that, ever. And Frank would never date Jane, ever. Agree to disagree. Fine. Fine. Why don't you go see if Jane is free on your way out? Well, according to you, Jane is as free as a bird. Well, you're right. That I'm right. Well, you'll excuse me. Are you busy? A little bit. You know that purple vodka you got for Box? For the Detox Cosmos? Detox Cosmopolitans? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> detox with two X's. It has muddled kale. Well, I wanted to let you know that purple vodka isn't made from organic potatoes. What? They told me it was made with organic heirloom purple potatoes. They're from real heirloom purple potatoes. They're grown in Peru. They need to be certified organic. <laughs> They're from the Peruvian mountains. They should be fine. Where's the list of other alcohol sponsors? In that folder. Sorry to interrupt, Emma, but I need to know which baby bottles you want for the game. Please, not no, Harriet. We have a crisis here. Oh, okay. Uh, only, if we want the glass ones, I need to let the guy know now. Harriet, we have six months until the baby gets here. That's plenty of time. But the shower is... None of these alternative vodkas will work. They may not be made from purple potatoes, but I'm sure they will still live up to the standards of Box's celebrity clientele. Speaking of celebs, I was wondering... Did you happen to tell Maddie any of the box details? You know, on accident? You mean, did I tell her about Mr. Pitt? No. Oh, and Frank slipped the name, I figured chatty Maddie. <laughs> My aunt did not, and would never. And as for Frank, doesn't he have a lot of celebrity friends in high places? It could have come from anyone. True, but I highly- I went with the plastic ones. They're better for drink up, baby. Are they organic? Never mind. Uh... Good job, Harriet. Jane, get back to me. You want to see me? Uh, I just took a call for you. Thanks. I'll call them back. No need. You're too late. Too late? For what? To reserve some venue called the Daisy Chain. They had to give it to somebody else. What? They said I had 24 hours to reserve. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I was supposed to call yesterday. Yep. So, like <sighs> I said, too late. Emma, this is your best friend's baby shower. How could you drop the ball on it? I guess I got a little busy, that's all. We'll find another place. No, we can have it here for all I care. That's not the point. The point is that you're in over your head and Harriet can't, and I might add, shouldn't have to handle it all for you. You promised, Annie. But- No, 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 no. No buts and no box. The only B word that should be coming out of your mouth right now is baby. You're better than this. Now show it. 